Hi, my name is Paul and welcome to Physics High. So in this particular video, I'm going to be looking at a standing wave in a closed pipe. And in this case, we're told that this standing wave is producing a sound or a note of 256 hertz, which of course is middle C for those who are musicians out there. And we're told that this is the fifth harmonic and we want to know what is the length of our pipe. Now, what we do is we can draw a simple diagram for our pipe. Now, it's our fifth harmonic, so it's not that particular one. It's not where we have one set there. So in other words, what we have is we have a standing point there, we have one over here, and we have one over here. And so what we get is something that looks uh, basically like this. Okay, so that is our fifth harmonic. Now, what we have to work out is what is the length of this particular pipe. Now, I can do this a couple of ways. I can show you in how to calculate this in quick form, but I'll give you the straight formula. Check out my video on closed pipes. I'll show you how it's derived, but our frequency is equal to NV over 4L. That is the mathematical relationship between the frequency, the velocity of the sound, and the length of the pipe and N being the harmonic that we're dealing with. Now we're told the frequency is 256 Hertz. Now we're told that this is the fifth harmonic, so we're going to put five in there. Now the velocity of sound is equal to 341 meters per second. And of course that could vary with the air temperature, but that's the value I'm going to use at this point. And then of course that goes over the value of 4L. Of course now rearrange, I get 4L is equal to five by 341 all over 256. And it's simply now a calculation problem. And the answer will be 1.67 meters. So that's the length of this particular pipe, fifth harmonic producing 256 Hertz or middle C. My name is Paul from Physics High. Take care. Bye for now.